Hi everyone! Today's video tutorial will cover a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your parent portal. Today we will cover how to properly onboard in ARMS, then log into Infinite Campus, and finally, we'll register for Canvas. The names you'll see in today's tutorial are completely fictional and used for training purposes only. Before we get started, please note, you must have a valid email address in our student information system in order to receive a welcome email with instructions on how to set up your parent portal. So what exactly is ARMS? ARMS is your one-stop shop to get access to applications such as Infinite Campus, Canvas, the district site, to name a few. Once your parent portal becomes available, you should receive an email from a no reply at esuhsd.org, which includes instructions along with your username and a temporary password. The email also includes helpful links to our district page for detailed instructions on how to onboard in ARMS, and a contact list of the parent and community involvement specialists at each school site. Copy the temporary password provided and navigate to arms.esuhsd.org. Type in your email address on the username field and paste the temporary password. Create a new password that meets the requirements. Quick tip. You can click on the I to view the password as you type. A message on the screen will let you know once your password has been successfully reset. Click Go to continue with your login. You will be prompted to set up your security questions upon first login. Select three questions and answer them accordingly. Click Save when finished. Quick tip! Forgot your password? Simply click on the Need Help link on the login page of ARMS and answer one of your challenge questions correctly in order to recover your account. If you still need a password reset, please contact your Parent and Community Involvement Specialist at your school site. If you don't see any applications in your ARMS dashboard page, simply toggle from the dashboard to the Applications view and bookmark some apps. This will create a shortcut of the apps you use often in your dashboard page. That's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching.